hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will uh, resume our discussion with uh, the waves and oscillations uh, that part in the previous videos uh, we have discussed the various uh, concepts related to it and we also discussed about the basic concept of simple harmonic motion and uh, the mathematical analysis the displacement versus time graph and all of that so in this video we are going to discuss an important example of simple harmonic motion so it is a very popular uh, example which is used to explain the simple harmonic motion the nature of simple harmonic motion so this example is the mass spring arrangement it is a very simple arrangement we have a spring connected to a block uh, with a certain mass and the movement of that block the compression and expansion the stretching and compression of the spring because of the block the mass of the block that is uh, an example of simple harmonic motion okay so so we'll start this whole discussion so this is the mass spring arrangement so this arrangement it uh, consists of a block this block with a certain mass which is placed on a smooth surface it is connected to a spring with a certain spring constant k okay and uh, it is kept on a smooth frictionless surface okay now as this block it moves to the left or to the right it causes compression or stretching expansion of this spring okay so because of the movement of the block when we either push the block or pull the block because of that this spring will either go compression or it will undergo expansion stretching okay so this is the normal position the initial position now either we pull this block or push this block either way the spring will undergo change okay either it will compress or expand now we will analyze it how the movement of this block the displacement of the block from its initial position to the left or to the right because of this push pull uh, force and then we leave it okay once we give it some initial uh, movement then we leave it we do not touch the block it is because of the restoration force of this spring because of the spring constant the remaining things will be done automatically we do not touch it we either stretch the block initially or compress uh, the block and then we leave it the remaining things happen because of the restoration force the spring constant okay so this is the initial position of this arrangement the block okay the initial position the equilibrium position or the mean position the displacement of the block is zero neither to the left or to the right it is zero and uh, the spring the block this arrangement is untouched so the restoration force of the spring is also zero this is the initial position the reference position now suppose the spring is pushed in this direction okay this block is pushed in this direction okay initially just we push this in this in, in the block this mass in this direction towards the left and we bring it to this position and then we leave it okay then we leave the restoration force of the spring will try to 
मूव इट इन दी ऑपोजिट डिरेक्शन एंड दिस दिस ब्लॉक हैज अंडर गोन अ डिसप्लेसमेंट टूवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट सो द पॉइंट हुआर वी लेफ्ट इट लेट से दैट इज द मैक्सिमम डिसप्लेसमेंट ऑफ दिस ब्लॉक नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रेस्टोरेशन फोर्स दिस ब्लॉक विल अगेन मूव टूवर्ड्स द राइट अवे फ्रॉम दिस इक्विलिब्रियम पोजिशन अवे फ्रॉम दिस इक्विलिब्रियम पोजिशन ओके दिस इक्विलिब्रियम पोजिशन अगेन इट मूव्स टू द राइट ओके फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज द इनिशियल और रेफरेंस पोजिशन ओके इनिशियल डिसप्लेसमेंट इज जीरो द रेस्टोरेशन फोर्स इज जीरो and this is the equilibrium or mean mean position then we push the block to a certain point and we lift okay then because of the restoration force of the spring okay because of the spring constant it will try to move it towards the right and as a result of that the spring will move in the opposite direction towards a maximum value this extreme position towards the right now again because of the restoration force of the spring once it reaches a maximum displacement towards the right again the spring will try to pull it towards the left again it will go to the left then again because of the restoration force of the spring it will try to push it away from it towards the right again it will move to the right so this process will continue now if you observe a pattern here the initial position compression expansion initial position compression expansion this will continue initial position compression expansion so this movement of the block and the spring the compression and expansion of the spring the movement of the block from left to right again from right to left crossing this equilibrium position many times this is an example this is simple harmonic motion we discussed this diagram in the basic concepts of simple harmonic motion how a particle initially at the reference position o moves to p then again moves to q crossing o then again from q to o so this is the same here initial position block moves towards the left initially we just push it then we leave it then it continues just like that because of the restoration force initial position compression move block moving to the left then expansion block moving to the right now all this happens because of the restoration force of the spring the spring constant k okay so this continues initial position compression expansion this is simple harmonic motion okay now let us try to un understand it from the mathematical point of view okay now as the block it moves away from uh, the mean position to the left or to the right a restoring force because of the restoring force which i was talking about it is exerted on the block which tries to pull it towards or push it away now the value of that restoration force is dependent on the spring constant that's why i said it all happens because of the restoration force of the spring or the spring constant the restoration force or the restoring force it is dependent on the spring constant so this value is given by minus kx okay now this minus sign it signifies that the the restoration force always is in the opposite direction of the displacement okay try to understand it here the displacement is towards left okay the the block is moving towards left but the restoration force it is trying to push it away towards the right okay so here two things are important the restoring force is is it always acts in the opposite direction of the displacement here the displacement to, is towards the right the displacement of the block is towards right but the restoring force 
is trying to pull it towards left okay pull the block towards this towards left so the restoring force acts in the opposite direction of the displacement and it is proportional to the magnitude of the displacement x and k is the proportionality constant which is the spring constant now also from newton's law we know that force is equal to mass into acceleration here m is the mass of this block and a is the acceleration of the block so if we equate these two equations f is equal to minus kx and f is equal to ma if we equate these two then we'll get ma or mass into acceleration is equal to minus kx or the value of a is equal to minus k by m multiplied with x spring constant mass of the block displacement of the block this is the acceleration okay now acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time a is equal to dv by dt and velocity is the rate of change of displacement with respect to time dx by dt so we can write a is equal to d square x by dt square second order derivative of displacement d square x by dt square okay a is equal to d square x by dt square so now let us replace this ratio of the spring constant and the mass both of them are constants okay the spring constant is fixed the mass of the block is fixed let us replace this whole ratio k by m the ratio of two constant values by this k by m with omega square so now we can write that this d square x by dt square okay d square x by dt square is equal to minus omega square x see a is equal to minus k by m x we got it by equating force is equal to ma and force is equal to minus k x we got it here a is equal to minus k by m x we replaced k by m with omega square so we get d square x by dt square is equal to minus omega square x now our task is to find a you know function x okay xt which satisfies this relationship okay we have to find a function x which satisfies this relationship that is d square the double derivative this uh, sorry the second order derivative of this displacement xt will be equal to this we have to find now the two functions which satisfy this relationship is the sinusoidal function sine or cosine function so if we try to prove it here let us put xt as sine omega t plus phi dxt by dt will be omega cos omega t plus phi basic rules of differentiation we all know then again the derivative of dxt by dt d square xt by dt square will be minus omega square sin omega t plus phi now xt is sin omega t plus phi which will be equal to minus omega square xt see it is satisfying d square xt by dt square is minus, minus omega square xt again if we put xt as cos omega t plus phi then dxt by dt will be minus omega sin omega t plus phi derivative of cos is sin and d square xt by dt square will be minus omega square cos omega t plus phi again minus omega square into xt as xt is cos so this is also satisfying d square xt by dt square minus omega square xt so this is the equation of shm which we discussed simple harmonic motion which is a periodic uh, function it is ex it, it, it is satisfied it is ex it is represented mathematically with a sinusoidal function a sine function or a cosine function we also discussed the same thing in simple harmonic 
uh, motion the basic concept of simple harmonic motion the previous video so i will recommend you to please watch that video first then come to this video so here we discussed that this uh, spring mass spring arrangement how it uh, mimics or actually it is the the practical demonstration of simple harmonic motion okay this mass spring arrangement okay so these are the values of the different uh, symbols here okay the the what is their meaning the displacement of the block x v is the velocity of the block a is the acceleration of block omega is the angular frequency and phi is the phase constant so here we have discussed the mass spring arrangement of simple harmonic motion the mathematical analysis okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much